it's not it's, it's not quite at that point and it's not trying to be at that point right? no this it's is not. not saying that it's supposed to be cigar blend so we can't really compare it because they're not comparable um but i think it it does what it does great i love the time and place to drink this i think what i said like this is a great like midsummer drinker you don't want this in the middle of like a blizzard and in front of a fireplace right like this isn't that type of bourbon this is a i'm on the porch with my family and we're hanging out and i got this to sip on welcome back to our three bourbon years this week we have a once again special treat the Magnus. A little Yosef Magnus. Yosef, Yosef R. Magnus. Do we actually know if that's the middle initial? I don't know if we... There's no R. Oh, it's an A. A is an A. R in there. <laughs> Scratch it. Joseph A. Magnus. Triple cask finished in sherry and cognac casks. Yeah. And disclaimer, we did the cigar blend. And, and one of our favorite whiskeys of all. Mwah! Yes. Delish. Uh, so there's no way that this can live up to that. But no. That's all right. It doesn't have to. It's uh, like it's half thing. the price. So yeah. how much did you pay for this? Um, I don't recall exactly, but it's like 80 to 100 bucks somewhere right. in there. So. Okay. All right, cool. 100 proof. Uh, like Ethan said, triple cast finish. Um, we have, uh, it's a marriage, an exemplary marriage of By the way, Oloroso <laughs> Sherry. Uh, <laughs> it's the hardest label to read ever. <laughs> like, Pedro... Kimenez, <laughs> Sherry, and Cognac casks. So, All right, Cognac, we can... We they can. use the same font that the Decla- Declaration of Independence was written with. Yes, uh, so essentially it's it's two Sherry casks and then a, yeah. and a Cognac. If we're wrong, let us know in the comments. I'm sure you will. Um, but Nancy, yeah. we know you're out there watching. Yes. Nancy the Nose Fraley, she, she wowed us, and she actually commented on our first review. On our Cigar Blend. Cigar wow. Blend, and we were really excited to talk to her about amazing. it. So, yeah, it was it's really like, awesome. It's like the Brett Favre of... Uh, Bourbon, the bourbon game. She basically isn't there from Brett Favre. Just an OG. Just like Gunslinger. You know. While he's pouring, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> um, we appreciate you. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. We love to hear from you guys. I don't care if you hate me, if you hate him, if you like us. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to hear from you. So please uh, do that. And we'd love to uh, subscribe from you guys. Yeah. Stay tuned. Every Thursday we release videos. And stay tuned later for Try Buying and I where we tell you whether this is worth the price. Um, so stick around. Yeah. Let's get into the nose. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, she's a finished bourbon. That's dark. Apparently That's this very is, plummy. Oh, this might be MGP juice. Is that what the internet said? I don't, I, know. I don't know. At one point, it was rumored to be 12 years old, so I don't think that we have an exact age statement on this. Um, well, but I do... I do <laughs> I do know that that Nancy <laughs> tends to say that older aged whiskeys are are typically used in the Joseph Magnus line. I'm Ooh. sure she'll watch us and call us idiots and, and say that we're wrong, but I think that's that's typically the case. So, so beautiful color, you lots know, of legs, of, kind of that uh, hay weedish yellow gold. Some short skirt, some good legs, some good legs on her, as Mitch would say. Yeah, it's good. You can smell that cherry in there. Yeah, yeah. And mixed with that cognac, I think it plays it plays nicely. Yeah, there's like a whiny so there's like a whiny scent to it, but it's very cherry forward yeah. with some sweet notes. All, all yeah. the Joseph Magnus that we've tried so far are just pleasant. They're just good. Like the noses are yeah. You can sit in very is, top quality product. product. Yeah. yeah. What do you what are you guys getting on the nose exactly? So cherry. Cherry uh what, dark fruit. We've been getting a lot of cherry recently. Well, it, it's more like uh, one of those pitted cherries, the dark ones. Yeah. I don't get a ton of spiciness. Um, I do get the dark fruit. Obviously, that's, you know, the finish. Um, hmm. A little vanilla. A little vanilla. Yeah. I'm getting wine. I'm getting a little wine. Yeah, um, yeah like some, if, you were to, wine. if you were to throw like a whiskey into Cabernet, yeah. right? That's the, the yeah. nose you're getting. Very nice. Uh, what is the proof on this? 100 proof. 100 proof. Yeah. 100. All right. But for it, 100 it proof. It smells above that. Yeah, I mean, a, lot, a lot of noses kind of fall off at 100 yeah. proof. So this is. I'm excited right. about that. Hopefully yeah. it hits above its weight. Yeah, for sure. Should we dig in? Let's yeah. Do it. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, that's beautiful. That is very delicate. Bouquet. That nice, Bouquet of that nice fruitiness comes through. Those bright cherries, bright strawberries. You know, we've been drinking a lot of oak. We've been drinking a lot of barrel proof stuff. Yeah. And this, you know, goes down to hundred, but it very it delivers. It hits above its weight. It's got a lot of flavors. Very dark fruity. The sherry comes through. I like that. 
Mm -hmm. um, like I, I, I really don't get a lot of that like whiny cask finish until the end. Yeah. Um, and then it kind of yeah. it kind of presents itself at the very last second, which which I like. It's not like overpowering or anything. I'm gonna paint a picture for you. All right. Do it. Let's hear put, it. Put me in the put me in the scene. You're. It's June. Not, All right. Not quite the hottest month of the summer yet. Mm -hmm. I like that. You're on a front porch in a hammock. And there's a light drizzle or light rain falling down. Okay. And you got a good book. You got your, Ooh, you got your right. best gal by your side. All right. And this is in your hand. Is that not the perfect marriage of Man, that's like, like... Like, like the best setting for this? I think I can live there. <laughs> yes. It, and this is a, I would call this a weekday drinker. Right? Wait, it does have that kind of like musty, um, it, in a way, it, it almost reminds me of like a, a rye. Right, it's almost yeah. like a little funkiness. Yeah, to it. like um, I got a little bit of the like the grassiness to it too. It's got some funk. Yeah, it's there. Um, and actually, I don't know if you guys remember, but this this kind of has like a uh, an aftertaste that reminds me of uh, the Willet for your ride. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. It's just got like the like, mushroomy earthy, a little earthiness to it. Very which is strange. Yeah, umami. Right, that's, that's, that's the word. Yeah. I was it not just thinking that. that now that you mention that, okay. that aftertaste is very earthy. So here's what's weird: is you're saying that, and I'm mentioning that rain. Maybe that's what I'm picking yeah, up. Yeah, right. It's like You're that, like, some of that mushroom, that like fresh that, rain, like the wet mossy. soil, like yeah, cool. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. All right. How what much? Think? Eighty to hundred. Yeah, eighty to hundred. I'm pretty impressed. All right. Uh, let's hit try by tonight. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Let me go first. I don't want to go first because my mind is not made up yet. I'm gonna go first. All right. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'm not. Do you know what you want to do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Believe it or not, this is going to be a try for me. Um, um, while I really like this, um, I think it's good. $8,200 ain't no joke. There's a lot of things right around there. I think for just a little more than that with the cigar blend, I mean, that is... That might be like arguably my favorite whiskey. I mean, it literally is <laughs> amazing. So I think if you're willing to spend this, obviously cigar blend's gonna be harder to find, but I would say, um, you know, if you can try this, go for it. Um, it is different. I don't think it's different enough to like fully say buy it. Um, very good. I like it a lot. I would probably buy one of these just to have one, but um, for, you know, average person, yeah. I would say. So that's why the try is try great. It. Yeah. That's why the try is great. Yeah. I want to hear your thoughts last because I feel like you'll bring it home. Okay. Go All ahead. Right. Um, Let's you sold me. Yeah. I think I'm going to try. Uh, 60, it, 70, maybe. It was very 70. good. It was very. I, I enjoyed the entire process of it. Yeah. Now, remember, it's 100 proof. It is 100. And that might um, be I, I, I love. The time and place to drink this. I think what I said, like this is a great like midsummer drinker. You don't want this in the middle of like a blizzard and in front of a fireplace, right? Like this isn't that type of bourbon. This is right. a. I'm on the porch with my family and we're hanging out and I got this to sip on. Spring but whiskey. You, you get to that 80 to 100. And by the way, I definitely paid like around 100 for this. Yeah. Like yeah. 80 is cheap. Um, I think it's definitely a try. You got to try it. Try it at a bar. Try it at a friend's house. Determine whether or not you want this. I'm gonna buy it personally. Well, we like Joseph Magnus. I mean, even brand exactly. recognition. We love Cigar Blend. I love Joseph Magnus. You know? I love Nancy. I love yeah. everything they're doing. I'm gonna be a buy, but I can't tell you to buy it. It's gonna yeah. be a try, That's just great. based on everything that we just experienced. Go for the cigar. So get the cigar. Yeah, get the cigar every time if you can. But yeah, um, there's just it's like there's a hill and it's at three quarters of the way up the hill yeah, yeah. but there's not that last quarter to tell you to buy it exactly so it's a cliffhanger yeah it's that's a cliffhanger a good, one for sure. good way to put it uh yeah I, i'm the same way i'm just gonna um, say it up front i'm gonna i'm gonna try yeah um i think what it does it does beautifully for sure yeah, yeah. right i like the fact that the, the sherry doesn't overpower the palate at all you get all those classic bourbon notes and then the the sherry kind of produces or presents itself at the last yeah. minute there, uh, which I really appreciate. I think it's expertly blended. I think the proof is a, a great point, but um, at hundred dollars, right? I think that for us, like you both said, right, this is this is a whiskey that we would probably buy, but yeah. we're also fans of the brand, so I wouldn't recommend someone go out and spend a hundred plus dollars on a on a 
on a triple cask finished bourbon without yeah, knowing right. anything about it. Um, you know, it's kind of funny that we say that, right? Because we would all say buy on 175 up on a cigar blend. Oh yeah, right? like, <laughs> there's no questions yeah. asked. Yeah. So that kind of puts things into perspective, in my opinion, right? Like that's I can't just bucks say more it. than this, and we're yeah. all saying, right. don't even think about it, buy it. I can't say buy. Doesn't when, that tell you where when, this is a little bit? Right? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's not quite at that point, and it's not trying to be at that point. Right? No, this it's is not. not saying that it's supposed to be cigar blend, so we can't really compare it because they're not comparable. Um, but I think it it does what it does great. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a total try. If you find it at a bar, you got a buddy who's got a bottle of it. Um, go ahead and yeah, and you'll it. like it. I guarantee you'll like it. If you it. love it's it, just... if you love it, pick it up. Um, yeah, three try tries. It. We haven't had a three try in a while. It has this 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 is the most try bottle I, I think. Yeah, it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's hard because it's so good, and I want to say bye, but. And I love the brand. I love the, you know. It's a vibe whiskey, so too. Like Ethan said, it, it's a total yeah. vibe. So, yeah. like, you know, I'm not going to drink this every day. I could right. see this busting this out in, like, a hookah bar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, does <laughs> that not just, like. At a certain uh, time and place, this is the bottle that you pull out. Yeah. Of, so, yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Have you tried this one? Have you tried the cigar blend? Because we clearly love it. Yeah. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching. Stay tuned every Thursday for our released videos. And we'll see you in the next one. All for one and one for all. Cheers. Cheers.